Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate you popping on in. Today it is a subscriber's question that I wanted to address for you. Oh, if you're new, I'm Carrie. I'm a matchmaker. I'm a dating coach. I'm a making episodes here on YouTube with dating advice about starting a new relationship, about dating, about successful relationships, great first dates, that kind of stuff. If you want to subscribe, if that's something you're doing now, dating or starting a new relationship, please hit the subscribe button so that you can come back again and see more episodes. There's two every week, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, so this subscriber asked me, I'm seeing somebody I don't know if he's actually ready for a relationship. How would I know that? That's what we're talking about today. If that's at all interesting, stick around. That's what's on the agenda. Seven ways to tell if he's ready to be in a relationship. Obviously, you can flip this if you're a fella. I know you're out there and you want to know if she's ready. Just change the pronouns out. In fact, pick any pronouns you want. They all work here. The partner is the other person. I'll be calling that person he, but it works for all of us. So he, this person, will be proud to be seen with you, will be out and about, and you can tell by their body language how they feel about being seen with you. If they're walking proudly with you on their arm, you can tell, you can feel it. Nobody's slinking around or trying to hide the fact that they're out with you. That's a number one sign that somebody is feeling ready to be your partner. They're also introducing you to their family and friends. Another sign that they are moving towards being ready to be in a relationship. Next step, meeting family, meeting friends. If that's happened, that's a great sign. Number two, he, she, they plan far into the future with you. You can tell if they are not just saying this week, let's do that. But if they're saying, hey, when end of the summer, there's this thing I love to do. We should get, you know, we should maybe have your sister join us and we can do that. So if they're looking into the future and seeing you as a person that will be there with them, great number two sign for this person being ready to be in a real relationship with you. Number three, they are consistently making plans and following through on the plans. There's no ghosting, no last minute changes, no leaving you hanging. This is a person you can rely on. You can depend on the plans that you've made with them, that they're going to happen, that there's going to be follow through, that you're going to see this person. If they're dependable, they're there for you. They're showing up, prioritizing you in that way. That's your next sign. Number four just requires you to check in with yourself. Do you feel like you're a priority? Somebody can say you're a priority, but if they're not doing things that make you feel prioritized, what does that really count for, right? So check in with you. Do you feel like you're important to this person and that they prioritize you over other things that you don't have to always take a second or a back seat to plans with their friends or family things that you're not invited to or work events that are constant. Anything that's constantly taking this person away from you where you feel like you're second fiddle to something else, you'll know just by asking yourself, do I feel like a priority? So you check in with you. Number five, how does this person refer to you? Do they say, oh, this is my friend Jessica, or this is my friend Stephanie or Steven? Or do they say, oh, this is my girlfriend, or this is my significant other or my partner, or this is that gal I, dating that I was telling you about? So how do they refer to you when they introduce you to people? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Introduce you to people. How are you being introduced? And does that make you feel special and like, they're seeing a future with you and they you can tell that this is now something romantic that is moving in the right direction so your introduction name is probably another sign that this person is on their way at least to being ready to have a girlfriend or a partner number six is a super easy one he says that he loves you and the joke here is that he says, I love you when you both have your clothes on. <laughs> but really, if he is using those words, you can be assured that he is ready to be in a relationship with somebody. 
I, I think the thing to keep in mind here is that any one of these things could be a total one-off situation. Somebody can say I love you all the time, but they're not somebody you can depend on. They don't introduce you as their girlfriend. They aren't making you feel like a priority, etc. So if you have a cluster of these things, then this is a behavior that you can actually count on and see the big picture to know that this person is either feeling like you're in a relationship or is feeling like you're moving into a relationship. And that's how you know they're ready. So if they're using the words and saying, I want to be in a relationship with you or I'm enjoying our relationship, referring to your relationship to other people, then that's obvious and the easiest way to know that somebody is ready. And finally, number seven, he tells you, I'm ready for a relationship. I want to stop seeing other people. Are you ready to be exclusive? I want to go steady with you. I, I believe in monogamy and I thought we should have a conversation about it. I'm deleting my dating apps or I'm no longer seeing other people and I wanted to check in with you to see if you're comfortable with that or what you're thinking. Somebody being straightforward and asking you or sharing with you how they're feeling, that makes it super easy. In fact, have you done that for this other person? If you are in the early stages of a relationship, are you letting them know how you're feeling? Are you comfortable enough to say, hey, you know, I deleted my dating apps the last week and I didn't know if you had done the same thing. I was thinking that maybe we're going steady now or you could joke about it or you could say, are we here? Are we at the, are we exclusive now? Or I don't really want to see anybody else. I wanted to check in with you to see how you're feeling. The easiest way to find out if somebody is ready is to ask them and first be vulnerable and share that you are ready. That way nobody's playing games. I assume that if you're here, you're probably an adult. I don't think that anybody else would have the patience to sit and listen to these conversations with me unless they were a grown up. Teenagers dating is a whole different situation. There's a whole different set of rules for them. So if you are an adult, what's more freeing than being able to be honest, be truthful about how you're feeling, share what you're thinking, share your feelings, and just come out and say to somebody that I want to be exclusive with you. Do you feel the same way? I mean, it's so powerful. It's such a powerful move and it makes you feel great and gives you more confidence to be that forthcoming and that honest in, in a relationship. It's a, it's a gift really. So I hope you found those helpful. If you did, please give the episode a thumbs up. While you're there, subscribe, hit that ring bell, then you're notified every time a new episode goes live. And I'll look forward to seeing you back again soon. I hope that happens. I appreciate you being here today. And until next time, have a good one.